Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Peanut Butter, the game, Inside Spoon. And in this episode of our season, as Scott Speed and his number 95 Levine Family Racing Ford, I'm going to Atlanta, I think. Tell me it's Atlanta. It's Atlanta. Okay. Let's get out of there. Last episode, raced at Bristol. Made a big old parking lot behind us. You know, like 20 cars or something. Sam Horney Jr. got his second win of the season after winning Day 2500 at the very beginning of it. He's all the way back here. You know, you see he's got two wins. He got some drivers with no wins, like Dale Earnhardt Jr., which, I mean, that's realistic. Brad Keselowski has no wins. Tony Stewart has no wins. Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon have no wins with Sam Horney Jr., He's got two wins. That's the kind of game we're playing. That's like freaking Joey Gase in NASCAR Heat 4. Because he, he won both the Talladega races. I think that's who it was. But yeah, we're up here uh, over 100 points in front of Casey Kane right now, of course. I'm not even going to keep track of it anymore. There's Martin Trex Jr. who won the, the Michigan race a few races ago. And yeah, that, I guess that's all that's really worth recalling right now. So let's get out of here. Go back to continue season, head to Atlanta, and I can finish chewing this damn peanut butter. Same settings as always, champion difficulty, the highest one. We got 10% race length, which is 32 laps this time. Uh, four times tire wear and fuel use, cautions and black flags, full damage and failures. 2012 Atlanta, that was Atlanta at its finest. Greg Biffle's on pole, looking to get around Mark Trex Jr. in the points, I bet. But this was before we had two Atlanta races in the season again. You know, it used to be two, then it was one. They brought back two again, and they had, I think, the second Atlanta race be the night race. So, now I wish that was in this game. I wish they had started doing that a little bit earlier, because that would have been a great addition to our season here. Okay, so Biffle's on pole to 27.58. I, 28.18. We're starting 14th right now. I wasn't kind of all out on the first lap, so I'm trying to see if I can do a little bit better. Oh my god, I have no grip this lap, which makes sense because the tire wear is coming on faster, and, um, well, it's Atlanta. It destroys tires immediately. Destruction! Welcome to Hampton, Georgia, and our coverage of the Advocare 500. Alongside Daryl Waltrip, I'm Mike Joy. Mike, I love this racetrack. It is so fast. When you head off in the first turn here, you're wide open. You go down in the corner. It's like riding a roller coaster. This joint is fast, and it will get your attention. Bobby Labonte has six wins here, Daryl, and Jeff Gordon, five. Who do you like today? I like Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson is who I'm going to put my money on. He's got a 10th place average finish here. Jimmy Johnson's the man. Atlanta's long been one of NASCAR's fastest and most competitive speedways. Will today's winner be right down around the white line in the corners, or will he be up in the Harry Gant groove almost scraping the outside wall? It was a night race in 2012. Huh. Where was that guy going? Oh, that was the pace car. No shit. <laughs> I just saw someone leaving out the corner of my eye. We got Greg Biffle in a really beautiful car to run this race. And the outside lane is not going anywhere. It's still not going anywhere. And I'm going to cause a huge wreck because I want to get to the inside. Well, that's great. I qualified 14th and I have to start 21st. That's great. No, David Strimmy, you're amazing, you're the greatest driver in the game, but you can stop that right fucking now. Well, he's the greatest driver aside from Scott Speed. Ain't no stupid Jeff Gordons and Tony Stewart's and, and Jimmy Johnson's. No, nah, no, nah. Scott Speed is where it's at. Greatest driver. The the GOAT. He's he's the Billy GOAT. He's the Mickey GOAT. Wh dumbass. Fucking dumbass. See, that's why Scott Speed is the best driver ever. Because y'all hit the brakes. This is Atlanta. What am I thinking? They don't know how to drive Atlanta at all on you Tech Look at this guy. What, what, I'm going way faster than him. And I am going less the speed than I should through the corner. Okay, so that that's out of the way. Can we not do that anymore? Um, No, I'm not pit. I gained one spot, so now i got to come to the restart for 14th again on the outside. Stupid. Mark Martin decided to head down pit road. Um... Oh, I guess a few guys up here haven't won yet, because there's Keselowski, um, I see Dale Jr. in front of us. I don't think Kurt Busch has won anything yet. Ah! 
fuck this game. Get off the wall, please. Can y'all not cause a wreck because of that? They caused a wreck because of that. What the hell is the car doing? Can you stop that? We're not getting anywhere. Yeah, yeah, we already saw it. Aha! This time, I get to be on the inside. And we're in the top ten now. Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin on the front row. Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the second row. And then the next row is Roush drivers. You got Joe Gibbs drivers front row. Second row, Hendrick drivers. And the third row is Roush drivers. Strangeness. Stop that. Now, I know that you don't like me on the outside lane, but you don't need to pull it out in front of me immediately. They do it on the inside, too. No! Stop that, son of a bitch! Okay, I'm going this way. I am going to the left. The car is loose as shit because I can't get up to speed. I can't get up to speed because there's nowhere to go. Car, please fucking stop it! Ah! I'm 11. Okay, can the car get up to speed? Can y'all stop being fucking retarded, please? Drive your cars like race car drivers. Why can't I handle this car anymore? It was fine in qualifying, now it is not. What is that? Oh, no, their cars are handling just like mine. Stupid Casey Kane, you fucking cunt! Oh my god! I hate this game, I hate this track, I hate everything, I hate these AI. Fine! I will go down pit road! Because I have damage now! And I will fix the damage! And I will get four tires, and I will get fuel, and... Can this video end just immediately? Please! Yeah, we'll get the four tires, we get all the fuel, repair all that damage. Please actually fix the damage. Don't just leave it there. I'm changing four tires, so you can't say that that won't solve something. Yeah, I gotta give you guys your, your quota pit stop of the video. So watch this while I go get me some water because this game is killing me. Looks like I lost a lot of spots on pit road. I was already losing spots by pitting. So that, that's fantastic. I, well I'm not back there. I'm 26th on the outside and in the middle of the field. Casey Kane is right behind me. <laughs> that, that's all that matters. Casey Kane is right behind me. I, I really don't care how this race goes. It doesn't matter how any race goes anymore. I'm winning the championship. I mean things will be a little iffy. At first, whenever we start to chase and have just no damn points on anybody anymore. Okay, I'll smash the brakes, I'll smash the brakes. And Casey Kane will slow down for me, so he's still behind me. Now, the car is not loose, and very loose and out of control. What happened to the car last time to make it so loose? The tires could not be hot, because we spent time under the pace laps for them to cool down. So, what exactly caused the car to drive like that? I don't know whether to go to the middle or go to the, the bottom off the corner. Okay, here we go. We'll, we'll just do this. We'll avoid all of them. I'll just do that. This really is NASCAR 2011, the game. Except the nighttime is actual nighttime instead of garbage sunset. Oh, ooh, uh. Okay, no, stop it. I hate this track. I mean, if I had a steering wheel and was uh, ha had all the etiquette down and was comfortable with the steering wheel in racing games, then I would have this shit figured out. But trying to drive a car like this at a track like this with an analog stick is not possible. This guy just drove the fuck into me with no care in the world. Okay, I'll just go down pit road then. What the heck is the caution for? Because I got it saved. Okay, I'm slowing down. I lost like five spots saving that damn thing. What's this caution for? Oh, it's him. I see, I saved it. He dumped me and he wrecked it. I just went down pit road. And he just killed everybody because he was upset with himself. Well... There's Greg Bivle, championship contender, kind of, not really. I'm on the front row with him because all those guys pit. So I'm second. Thank you for wrecking me, Jeff Burton. Now I'm going through the lead. Probably not going to get it because I can't drive this car. It's, it's trying to start sliding. And I am trying to not do that. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? He had no reason to do that. I, I didn't. I was in his way. I, I want to go down to the bottom of the track, but if I do that, the car tries to... The back of the car wants to stay at the top of the track. The front of the car will do what I ask. 
until the tires get worn, and then no parts of the car want to do anything I ask. Okay, we're, we're going up. We're still going up. We're hitting the wall. Okay. This track is, is just terrible to drive. I am having a very horrible time driving this track. I would rather race at it at day. I, I don't know why, but that didn't seem to be a problem for us in qualifying. I need adjustments. I don't know what adjustments to make. Why are you just driving into me? My car is hard enough to drive as it is. I mean, maybe he saved it for me. I don't know. I'm just going to have to hang on to this hardly whatsoever as long as I can. Or, or maybe it'll tighten up as we get through the run, because that happens sometimes in this game. I don't remember that much. The car drives better once the tires are worn. It's easier to handle and shit. It, it doesn't matter where we finish this race. Reminder, I already said that, but it doesn't matter where we finish. Let's just drive and uh, try to hang on to it. No, 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 no. Okay, I guess we're going to hit the wall. I don't know what button to press. Like, what button to press to get the car to straighten out? It's like, I don't want to drive straight. I'm in the turn. But the car keeps kicking out sideways. I'm not turning whatsoever right there. And they still did shit like that. Oh, okay, this is this is just how the car drives. This is awful. Like this is worse than whenever I tried racing here for the first time on NASCAR 2005. I I'm going so slow. I this is oh boy. Kirk was just dragging his asshole up against my face. It's not that pretty. I'm getting loose in the front stretch. I feel that. Oh my god! Look at them pixelated shadows. They might only actually look pixelated on 720p, maybe 480. Yeah. I mean, I've got horsepower and stuff, but my tires don't hold together for, you know, more than half a lap. Do, do, do. Isn't it possible to race this track during the day in this game? I thought it was. I recall watching Rhino GT4 race at Atlanta on this game. I know we haven't raced at Atlanta this season because it's the only race here. I'm getting loose in the front stretch again. I'm just falling back. Just falling back. I figured this wouldn't be too difficult because they check up so much. But, see, they check up like crazy at the restart and then they just launch past me because this car is impossible to handle. Well, now Casey Gain has finally gotten around us. This might be our worst finish of the season. We ain't DNF. And we didn't even do the Indianapolis race, reminder. Well, there's the previous race winner. <laughs> I, I can't take the blame for that. Why are you slowing down there? What the heck? I slow down here, you slow down there. I don't know. Is this all worth watching? I think it is. Yeah, yes, it, it very much is. Oh, Newman! Hello, Newman! Is that a caution? You hit that wall pretty hard. It's not a caution. I, I am fighting back. I've been turning to the right for a good bit. I don't want to pit. Like, just get on the track, please. Okay. We're, we're good. We're okay. Why am I spinning the tires? What is this thing still on my screen for? Get off the screen. Maybe it'll go away whenever I get around to, to the pit road next time. If I can make it that far. Uh, okay. Well, there's a caution. That was fast. The thing popped up immediately. You figure I would be the caution with how I'm driving? But it's them. What? How is that a caution? You got a flat tower, you put it in pit road, and then they throw the caution. That's not how NASCAR works. Okay, so, yeah. I am going to pit. Let me get four tires again. Um, I am going to raise the tire pressures. Five each? Maybe five on the front. And then ten in the back. If I have the time for that. I don't know how fast we're going to be going down pit road and etc. Yeah, um, let's L1, the, yeah, the front, PSI. Okay, so raise the front to uh, 30, 30, 32, raise the other front to 40, 50. Uh, let's raise the, the right. It's not possible. I don't have the time. It, it's too difficult to think about. And, it, and I, all these numbers, letters, that F, L, F, R, L, F, blah, 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 blah. Okay, how long is this going to take? Can I get somebody? I need somebody to, to, to turn around. I didn't get to finish my shit. 
Or I could try driving the car, you know, normally. See how long that might last. I don't know, the guys in front of me are gonna drive it slow. I'm in the, what the? I, I drove through him. I drove through Mark Drex Jr. I was thinking about just dumping somebody. And, you know, actually getting to take my pit stop, but the car is driving fine right now. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Oh man, it's tight now. Front is tight. I think that could use going back to normal and then just tightening the rear end. But this seems to solve some of the problems, just tightening the front end. I can at least run now. I gotta drive slower to the corners going in. But oh, it ain't getting loose on me, it ain't spinning around. We've got the pace. Good shit. 10 laps to go. And Mark Martin is still leading this thing. And we're back around Casey King. So we're winning right now, essentially. Like always. I am tight. That's fine. I don't care. This is great. I love this. This car handles perfectly compared to whatever that shit was a while ago. <laughs> a while ago. The majority of the race this car has handled like just dunce hat-esque shit. I have the fastest lap of the race right now. Just because my car is ridiculously tight. David Strimmey. All of you guys. Stupid. We're up to 12th. We're up to the, the top 10. And the race is almost over. Yeah, I'm off. I'm, I'm off the throttle. Oh, now we're getting loose. I'm having to drive so damn slow to keep it off, people. This Robbie Gordon just freaking drove right the hell around me on the outside. I, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm tight, and the car is getting a little loose, but I can handle it now. I can handle it a little loose. Once the tires get worn again, that right rear starts getting worn. It's going to be just like it used to be. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it that much longer whenever it starts getting there, because we've got a a good few seven laps, eight laps left in the race. Yeah, I mean, if you watch the movements of the car, you can see it starting to get loose. And it was very obvious earlier. I mean, we're up to eight. People got pit stops to take. If I just don't take a pit stop and deal with the looseness of the car as it comes on while they take pit stops themselves, you know, I could win this race, even though I very much don't deserve to because we've had setup problems and I've had a lack of talent problem all video long. It's just that so have they, and my lack of talent is not as bad as their lack of talent, it seems. Ugh. I am trying to close this gap. I should just take it easy and accept this finishing position. Okay, this guy is pitting, and it's very difficult to predict that, react to that. We're on the inside. Six to go. Car up top, two back. Car up top, one back. Over your outside. <laughs> Kurt Busch is trying to pass me on the outside, but I'm so tight that I'm blocking him without even trying to. Come on, car. Uh, I don't, I'm not. I, I shouldn't be trying to race him. I should just drive. Yep, there they go. All taking pit stops. I'm up to fifth right now. Oh my gosh, we're getting loose in the front stretch again. I could do this for four more laps. Maybe. Or a caution could come out. I don't know what that's going to do. Should be a green-white checker. What the fuck even started this shit? We, we, just picking up in chapter two of the story. Uh, nah. Nah. We're, we're good on fuel. And I'll hold on to it on the tires best I can. And maybe we'll win. I don't think we're going to win, though. Because freaking... Carl Edwards and every guy behind me pit. The thing is, it doesn't seem to matter whether they pit or not, they run slow. Okay. See, usually you get to the line and it starts a new lap. And in this game, it just doesn't do that. It's 32 when we get to the line and then it's 32 after we pass it. Oh man, I'm so freaking tight. Gosh, I gotta go so freaking slow. I thought this was like the fastest 1.5 mile track. It is not whatsoever in this game. I've already fallen all the way back to 7. Yeah, it, it's this race is not possible. Really. It, it could have been at some point, but it is definitely not now. Look at this shit. I, I don't know. There we go. Okay, the white flag is out, so the race is official. Next flag into the race. I've fallen back to 14th. Maybe I should have pit. Hmm. Maybe I should have pit. 
uh, took away some tire pressure and added some elsewhere. I don't know. We are just falling back to the middle of the field. Damn. I don't feel like my car's handling has changed that much at all throughout the run. It's just been tight the entire time, which is better than loose, but I wasn't falling back this quickly on the loose tires. Not at first. So we're going to finish 23rd, which, I mean, is that our worst finish of the season? I don't know, because we usually finish good even though we don't deserve to. And Casey Kane finishes 12 spots in front of us anyways. Of course, of course that happens. Uh, Carl Edwards finally gets his fourth win of the season and ties with us and wins. We have not won in a while. I'm sure we will before this season's over. Tony Stewart, fastest lap of the race, still hasn't won a race yet, but got runner-up. They're, they're teasing him, man. Jeff Gordon finishes third. Mark Martin, fourth. All these drivers in the top ten are drivers that should often finish in the top ten. So this game got that right. I think this game also got Scott Speed finishing 23rd right off reality. You know, and then Greg Biffle got the pole. He finished 20th, so that's unfortunate, though. I should have kept a receipt to that peanut butter. I don't know what the hell they're putting in that shit these days. But we're down to a 105-point lead over Casey Kane now. Jeff Gordon up to third, gained two spots. Didn't see that coming, but he's been finishing up front lately. Martin Trex Jr. lost one. Jimmy Johnson into the top five. So, yeah, we got 300 drivers in the top five. I said that was coming soon. Carl Edwards up to sixth with that win, which makes sense. He gains a couple spots. Greg Biffle lost three. <laughs> Damn. I mean... Yeah, I was just saying that that was a terrible run for him, even though he started on pole. Matt Kenseth is 8th now. Tony Stewart back up to ninth, And, yeah, you got all this crap, of course. I'll see you guys next weekend, whenever we end off the regular season with the Richmond International Raceway. I did not like racing there the first time whatsoever. That was just atrocious. But, of course, I somehow managed to finish good and make adjustments to the car or, or figure out how to play the game properly and crap. So let's just do that again and end off this uh, 26 race stint nicely. See you next time. That's that and episode over.